Hi, this is Christopher Boucher, and I'm going to show you today how to use SPSS to create a frequency distribution, some of the options of the descriptive statistics that come with it, and how you can make a histogram as well. There are, uh, talking about the histogram, there's a couple different ways to make a histogram with SPSS, as well as uh, many of these st descriptive statistics. So this is just one way. Okay, I have a data set open. There's um, about, looks like 34 entries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to uh, Analyze, and then go down to Descriptive Statistics, and go over to Frequencies. Now, some of these other options in here can give us some of the same, um, similar output, um, especially when we use Explore we can uh, get a lot of the um, statistics that I'll show you. But there's, um, as I said, there's different ways to do this. So you click on frequencies, and then I already have the VAR loaded, but, and there's only one VAR available on this sheet, but what you would do if you had uh, more columns with data in it, you would go and select the, um, the variable or the data that you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for this one that's right here. Okay, now, it's checked, it says display frequency table. So it's going to make a frequency table for you. So that's one option here, is if you click on this, because it's the frequencies that we went into, it's going to make a, a frequency table. Let's take a look at this other option with statistics. There's a lot of choices in here for cent, uh, central tendency. You have the sum, mode, median, mean. I already checked those. And then for dispersion, standard deviation, variance, range minimum, maximum, and standard error of the mean, and then for the distribution, the skewness and kurtosis. And I'll talk more about the skewness and kurtosis in another video. And then quartiles, um, I'm not uh, selecting those for now, but you can do um, calculations or have it display quartiles, and you have to put some inputs on that too. Not just for the quartiles you don't, but for some of the other percentiles you do. Okay, so I'm going to hit continue. And then for charts, I have some options in here for charts. If I do none, uh, it won't, won't give me any charts, of course, but I can make a hist histogram. Um, pie chart probably wouldn't be as uh, useful for this type of uh, uh, data set. And then you can click right here, show normal curve on histogram, which is kind of nice in my opinion. I'll show you how that comes out and continue. So we're ready to go and I'm going to do um, okay. So what it does right here, I'm going to expand this, is it shows the uh, descriptive statistics right up here up top. And a lot of these things uh, you may be familiar with if you're working with SPSS, but your standard deviation uh, mean, uh, median standard error of the mean. So a lot of these uh, common uh, figures and then variance skewness, which I'll talk about uh, in a later video, and then range, minimum, maximum, sum. Okay, this is the uh, frequency table. You'll see it does, um, it actually does the cumulative um, uh, frequency table, which is nice. And then the histogram, and the histogram uh, shows the data. So there's some um, issues with the, um, the kurtosis in this one and some of the skew, and we'll talk about that as well next time. Okay, thank you.